Hey everyone, welcome to Manage Engine. In this video, we are going to walk you through upgrading from Windows 10 to Windows 11, especially since Windows 10 is reaching its end of life soon. Let's get started and ensure your system is ready for the upgrade. First, let's talk about Windows 10's end of life. Microsoft has officially announced that support for Windows 10 will end on October 14, 2025. After this date, no more updates, security patches, or bug fixes will be released. To stay secure and ensure optimal performance, it's a good idea to upgrade to Windows 11 well before this deadline. Let's go over the system requirements for Windows 11. First up, we have processor. Your device needs a 1 GHz or faster processor with at least two cores and a 64-bit architecture. Supported processors include Intel 8th Gen or newer and AMD Ryzen 2000 series or later. Make sure to check your CPU model as older processors may not support Windows 11. Next up, we have random access memory. A minimum of 4 GB of RAM is required. However, to ensure better performance, especially if you multitask or run heavy applications, we recommend at least 8 GB. Next, we have storage. Your device must have at least 64 GB of available storage for the OS and essential updates. If you are using an HDD, consider upgrading to an SSD for a significant performance boost. And next, we have system firmware. Windows 11 requires UEFI firmware, secure boot enabled, and trusted platform module version 2.0 for added security. You need to enable secure boot and TPM 2.0 through your BIOS settings. Up next, we have our graphics card. Your graphics card should support DirectX 12 or later and have a WDDM 2.x driver. This ensures that your system can run modern applications and take full advantage of Windows 11's features. Next up, we have display. Your display should have at least 720 pixel resolution and a minimum 9 inch diagonal size. This ensures that Windows 11's interface displays properly without distortion. Coming to internet connection, a stable internet connection is required to complete setup and download necessary updates. For Windows 11 Home Edition, a Microsoft account is also required to finish the initial setup. And last but not the least, before upgrading, run Microsoft's PC Health Check Tool. This tool checks your system's compatibility with Windows 11 and offers guidance on any hardware upgrades you might need. If you are using Endpoint Central for patch management, you are in a great position to make this transition seamless. You can find it in our dashboard. The Z analysis feature in Endpoint Central gives you valuable insights into your systems. It highlights devices that are reaching Windows 10's end of life and checks which devices are ready to upgrade to Windows 11. It also provides recommendations to help you navigate the upgrade process smoothly. So now, by clicking on these number of devices, you will be redirected to the Windows 11 readiness window where you can see the detailed analysis of, of the requirements of each Windows 10 device. If that particular requirement is met, it will be marked as eligible. If all requirements are met for that device, that device will be listed under compatible devices and you can upgrade them to Windows 11. If the requirements are not met, it will be listed under incompatible devices and you cannot upgrade these to Windows 11. You can see the number of missing requirements under the same section and the requirements that are below required level. Let's dive into the steps to upgrade to Windows 11 24H2 using Manage Engine and Point Central. Before deploying the Windows 11 24H2 update, make sure you meet all the necessary prerequisites. Ensure you are using version 10.0.147 or above. If you are on an older version, you will need to upgrade first. Similarly, enable Feature Pack Update in Windows tab. Let me show you how. Navigate to Admin Settings. And under Patch Settings, choose Patch Database Settings. Click the Windows tab and make sure that you have enabled the Feature Pack option. Ensure you haven't declined Feature Pack Updates in the Decline Patches section. 
Finally, run a compatibility check to ensure your system meets all requirements for upgrading to Windows 11. The next step is to download and add the dependency patch to your patch store. Here's how you do it for the Enterprise Edition. First, download the Windows 11 Enterprise Edition 24H2 ISO from the Microsoft 365 Admin Center. In Manage Engine Endpoint Central Console, go to Threads and Patches, click on Patches, Downloaded Patches, and choose Upload Patches. Let's apply the All Patches filter here. Now I'm going to search for the patch ID 111894. As this is the dependency patch for Windows 11 Enterprise Edition. Let's choose the patch, click on Upload. Let's drop the ISO file. Enter checksum. Click on Upload, and there you go. The patch is uploaded. Similarly, for the Professional Edition, download the Windows 11 Professional Edition ISO from the Microsoft 365 Admin Center page. And let's search for the patch ID 111890. This is the dependency patch for Windows 11 Professional Edition. Similar to the previous step, click the patch, choose Upload, choose your ISO file, enter your checksum, click on Upload, and the patch will get uploaded. Now that the dependency patches are in place, it's time to deploy the Windows 11 24H2 update. Kindly note that the upgrade is only available for Windows 10 versions 2004 and above. So ensure your systems meet this requirement. If you're upgrading from Windows 10, go to Supported Patches view. Select the Windows 11 24H2 feature pack patches for deployment. Since I'm showing you all a demonstration of Enterprise Edition, Choose patch ID 111895. Here you go. For other editions such as professional home, etc., choose patch ID 111891. Let us select the patch and click on install patches. I'm going to name the configuration as Windows 11 Enterprise. This is the patch that we are going to deploy. Coming to deployment policy, let's choose deploy anytime at the earliest as it is our feature pack update. Coming to targets, you can choose your targets here and click on deploy immediately and our deployment task is successfully created. If you are upgrading from Windows 11 versions, go to the missing patches view in the patches tab and let's select the Windows 11 24H2 feature pack patches here. Since it's a demonstration of Enterprise Edition, I'm looking for patch ID 111896. For other editions such as professional or home, select patch ID 111892. Similar to the previous task, choose the patch, click on install patches. I'm going to name the configuration as Windows 11 Enterprise. This is the patch that will be deployed. Similarly, in deployment policy, let's choose deploy anytime at the earliest and define you can define your target here. And there you go. Once you click on deploy immediately, the task is successfully created. So once you have initiated the deployment, its progress can be seen here in the deployment status section. This will give you real time information about the success or failure of the deployment. And that's a wrap. You've successfully upgraded your system from Windows 10 to Windows 11 24H2 using Manage Engine Endpoint Central. By upgrading to Windows 11, you ensure that your systems stay secure perform optimally and are ready for the future of Windows. Thank you and have a great day.